Hi guys and welcome back to another video. So basically I just want to go over something that I've had an issue with. Um, I've been using QuickTime Player but um, I went to go screen, screen capture a tutorial and realised that it doesn't record audio. So I've looked into it and researched and if I go on to here there was a YouTuber which gives you a step by step guide called Taro Productions and basically he told me basically to download this thing called Soundflower, so I did. Basically, once you've downloaded it, you will get a little zip file here uh, in your downloads. Mine's in recent at the moment, just because I've literally recently downloaded it. Basically, you can click this and download it. It might not download if you haven't got all your settings correct, so make sure that you can download from anywhere before you try downloading it. There's lots of videos if you don't know how to do that. Just search it up. Um, basically, once you've done that and it's all completely downloaded, if you press Command and Spacebar and type in Audio MIDI Setup, there we go. And then you want to go down here, you want to press Add. I've already created one, but basically you create one of these. See this thing highlighted in blue, you want to click that, and it's going to bring you to this. And I've labelled it quick time player input. I would do the same personally. Then you want to select the sound flower and the built in microphone. Just give them two ticks right there. Then you want to come over here and look at make sure that built in microphone is selected and also that it says 44.1. Then you want to, once that is done, you want to click add again and press create multi output device. And it's going to give you this. Basically, I've I've called it screen recording audio. I suggest you do the same because it just makes sense. Uh, then you want to select built-in output, sound flower. Make sure they're both ticked. Um, then you want to go up here, make sure built-in output, and that is four four one. Um, that will make sure that it's yeah gonna work. Once you've done that, you can just close that. It saves automatically. And you should be able to record audio. Obviously, you go to QuickTime. There it is, perfect. And then you go over here. Obviously, I can't do it because I'm recording right now. But you would select New Screen Recording. Check the settings on the down arrow. And then you want to select the appropriate one. And it should work perfectly. Um, hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure uh, that you give me some good feedback. And that's about it.